my thoughts on keeping the residents of North Lawnley well with and Terry would probably be uh, making sure that they can maintain their social networks to keep mental health well and also being able to keep active to keep the physical health well. Communication is a massive part of keeping well. Um, communication amongst the community of North Walney and then um, knowing exactly what's going on in the area and what's available to them. You're absolutely right. I believe that social isolation can be a real killer. We know from research that it has a physical impact equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So we can reduce social isolation, maybe make a distinction between isolation and loneliness, which can be equally distressing for some of the mental health. And as you say, make sure that people know what is out there and that it's accessible. Accessibility has to be where they can meet up and socialise and also have some physical activity elements as well. Yeah, um, they also need to know that they, can, that they can access them facilities. That needs to be easy enough for them. Yeah, absolutely. There's no uh, service without access. The service might as well not exist if there isn't access to it. There are things in development like the Roundhouse, there is a North Scale Community Centre, there are smaller facilities, there's even the community centre in Central Drive that if properly, properly used and promoted could make a significant difference. We don't want people going from doing nothing to trying to do everything. We need to take it in small backslice chunks so that it's within people's capabilities and people can be encouraged to make the best of maximising their potential. And I think there's opportunities for us all as collective partners because no single aid agency can do it on their own. If we work jointly together, we will be able to make a significant difference in my view.